Former NBA star and now Taiwan basketball star Dwight Howard is getting slammed on Chinese social media. What's the fuss? Well, Howard referred to Taiwan as not just a country, but a free country. Howard has been playing in the Taiwanese Professional Basketball League since November. He made the comments in a promotional video for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Now, in 1949, Taiwan split from mainland China, but China still claims sovereignty over Taiwan. And today, Howard apologized for his remarks, saying he was misinterpreted and does not want to get into politics. He was also quoted in the BBC as saying to the local media, if I offended anyone in China, anybody, you know I apologize. If I offended anyone, ouch, that old if. Former NBA player and human rights activist Ennis Cantor Freedom, he's not afraid. He stands up for the human rights, and he certainly speaks his mind. As the son of two Turkish parents, former NBA player Ennis Cantor Freedom has been outspoken against Turkey's president, Tayyip Erdogan, his leadership, and Turkey's history of human rights abuses. Ennis has even ventured farther, calling Erdogan the Hitler of our century. That comment went over like a lead balloon. Turkey then put freedom on 2023's most wanted terrorist list, and they also placed a $500,000 bounty on his head. Former NBA player and human rights activist Ennis Cantor Freedom joins me again. Welcome back to the show. Thank you for having me. Okay, first let's talk about Dwight Howard. I noticed uh, your T-shirt. Oh, yes. Your uh, T-shirt, that's going to get you into trouble. But you've gotten into trouble before <laughs> with China. I'm not scared of getting in trouble, trust me. You're not afraid of getting in trouble? Nope. Um, what, what do you make of Dwight Howard uh, getting into that fuss with China? Well, I did hear about, you know, his apology and his comments, and I did see the uh, commercial, uh, which, you know, they were saying that Taiwan is a free country, which it is. And I, as soon as I heard it, uh, his apology, I actually uh, texted Dwight Howard because me and him going against each other on a basketball court the last uh, 11 years now, and he's a friend. I uh, reached out to him, and I was like, stand strong, brother. You know, uh, do not apologize from the biggest dictatorship in the world and stuff. I don't want to go into too much detail what he said and stuff, but he, I hope that he is going to stand strong. But, I mean, uh, China can get mad as much as they want, but Taiwan is a free country and uh, they will be free uh, no matter what. And uh, we will stand with Taiwan. All right. Um, you also have your, Turkey. You're on their terrorist list. Mm -hmm. um, you can't go back there. You've had your citizenship revoked. Yeah. Big election this Sunday in Turkey. Um, Erdogan, is he going to get reelected? Well, I mean, I'll just I'll tell you this. The six party came together to literally just go against one guy because people are saying enough is enough because we are sick of his policies. Turkey plays a very important role in Middle East and Europe because Turkey could be the bridge of Islam and West, but just because of Erdogan's policies, it's impossible. There is no rule of law, there is no democracy, there is no freedom, and Turkey is the number one country in the world that put the most journalists in jail under Erdogan's regime, so something has to change. Um, Turkey acting more, you know, American ally than Russia ally. I mean, he's going out, out there and buying S-400s, and he's letting Russian oligarchs in. So, you know, the people are sick of it, and they're saying enough is enough, and now we, we need to go out there and do whatever we can to bring Turkey back to democracy. But what, what I read is that it, the race on Sunday is neck and neck. Mm -hmm. um, it is. Do you believe that? Well, if, first of all, if there is free and fair election, I believe that Erdogan is going to lose. And I hear that many reports out there that even if Erdogan loses, he's not going to let it go in peace. You know, he's going to start some kind of chaos to go out there and says, you know what, I did not lose the election. This is not acceptable. I want all my followers to go on the streets and start a chaos. So I believe, I believe that he's going to do that because he's that kind of guy. But um, fair election, he's definitely losing. Where's his support? Is it in the urban area or the rural area? I'll just say, I mean, he only has support. So he controls the media in the country, right? And there are so many brainwashed people are, you know, voting for him because, I mean, he uses religion to brainwash people. So I would just, I just feel bad for the country because at the end it's Turkey. I love my country. I love my flag. But... You know, he's, you know, he's blocking international observers. I wanted to uh, put it out there because he does not want any free elections. For the election, there are no international observers yeah. on, on Sunday? Nope, he's blocking all of it. And are, are, there, are people complaining about that? There are a lot of people are complaining about it, but he is, if he... He's a NATO member. If he, exactly, that's, I mean, that's what I'm a, trying to say. He's a NATO member. You know, he... I, or, I mean, Turkey is, he isn't, but Turkey yeah. is. Yeah, well, I, I said this, Erdogan is the Trojan horse for Putin in NATO. I put this comment out there many times, and trust me, he hates that. Um, you know, it's, it's interesting, though. When, uh, the, he, I mean, he has played such an important role in Turkey mm -hmm. and, and all things, and yet he remains so active in NATO. 
That's what I'm, people try to understand. How is it still in NATO? How you put in all these innocent people in jail, all, all the journalists, you shutting down so many media outlets and there is no freedom of speech, religion, no freedom of expression, no freedom of protest. How are you a still NATO ally? How are you still in NATO? So, but I believe that after Erdogan gets out of the office, it's gonna take some time, it's gonna maybe even take some generations, but he is gonna, I mean, Turkey is gonna go back to his, his And roots. if he gets beaten, the person who beats him the opposition, is he better? I mean, he is way better than Erdogan. I am, I mean, I just know him a little bit. I read, read about him a little, but I mean, he's definitely gonna be way better than Erdogan because he talks about democracy, he talks about freedom. Um, Erdogan was too at one point, then he changed after that, uh, after his corruption scandal, but I hope that it's gonna be better. Always nice to see you, Anas. Thank you for coming no, by, thank, thank you. Thank you for having me.